I want to show you some of the features of this 2 liter engine that we've built and installed in a 1975 Fiat Spider. Uh, first off, we've replaced the 1800 with a 2 liter. Uh, the engine's been completely rebuilt. It features Ross forged pistons with 10 to 1 compression. The head's been ported and polished and large uh, oversized valves, both intake and exhaust, have been installed. As you can see, the car's got uh, dual 44 IDF carburetors. These are the Empey versions of uh, the Weber IDF. A few improvements that Empey has made uh, helps with drivability. The car also features a uh, 123 distributor with programmable ignition, a Bosch blue coil, so we've got an ignition system that'll put out 50,000 volts. Engine also features our exhaust header, our design with uh, ceramic coating and polished. The engine features our billet aluminum flywheel, which only weighs nine pounds, helps the engine rev quickly. The engine also has a lightweight billet aluminum crankshaft pulley on it. Adjustable cam gears, billet aluminum, so the cam can be dialed in to the proper setting. This car also features our electric water pump system, which really eliminates a lot of drag uh, from the engine trying to spin that water pump. So it eliminates the need for the mechanical water pump and a thermostat. It's got an adjustable controller, so you set the engine temperature where you'd like it to run constantly. The car also features our billet aluminum uh, radiator and our 95 amp alternator, so that we've got plenty of power to run the ignition system and a stereo and amp if, uh, if need be. So I wanted to show you how responsive this engine is. Uh, it also features our 285V street cams, which are a great cam choice for a 2-liter because it makes all the power through the mid-range up to about 6,200 RPM, which is the operating range on a street-built 2-liter uh, engine. So with all the lightweight parts on this car, it, uh, the engine revs really freely. This engine will put out between 135 and 140 horsepower. It hasn't been dynoed yet because we're still in the break-in phase with this motor. Uh, so we'll talk a, a little about some of the other features. We've uh, featured the electric water pump in a couple other videos, so I won't go into it too deeply. But one of the advantages is without a thermostat, the engine en temperature is controlled by the speed of the water pump and also by the cooling fan. So on startup, you get slow circulation uh, until the engine starts to reach operating temperature, then the water pump picks up the speed and uh, circulates the water at, at the speed it needs to keep the temperature at the setting you've chosen. So one of the advantages is with no thermostat and gradual warm-up is you don't get hot spots in the engine. On a car with a thermostat, you'll see temperatures up in the 220 range at the water outlet because the water's not circulating through the radiator yet as, as the engine warms up. We don't have that issue with an electric water pump. It also runs for up to three minutes after shutdown to eliminate any hot spots in the engine. Uh, it can also run the cooling fan if need be for up to those three minutes while the water's circulating at a slow speed. So we're going to start this engine up now and uh, we'll let it run for a minute and then uh, you can hear how responsive this, this engine is. can see it starts easily that one two three ignition with a 50,000 volt output will fire this off even without cold enrichment on these carburetors so as you can see down in the radiator the water circulating uh, immediately with the electric water pump and it'll circulate at a speed uh, to let the engine gradually warm up so we don't want to rev the, a cold engine too quickly so we'll let it we'll let it run a little bit here while we're talking about the situation as you can see with the 285V street cams, the idle is slightly lumpy, but not objectionable at all. Now, there are definitely street cams and they make gobs of torque in the mid-range, which is what you want on a street engine for fast acceleration at, at low speed and off the line. excellent. Uh, with all the lightweight parts, it lets these two liters just rev like crazy. So all these parts are available on our website at allisonsautomotive.com. 
uh, the intake system features our tubular intake manifold, uh, the MP carburetors, as I mentioned, these are 44 IDF clones. Uh, the oversized intake and exhaust valves are available, the exhaust header, the ignition system, uh, the forged pistons, the billet aluminum cam gears, the lightweight crankshaft pulley, the lightweight flywheel. All these are available on our website. They're in stock for immediate shipping, with the exception of the pistons. Pistons are custom made to your size, uh, so those do take a few weeks to have those made. But other than that, enjoy the sound of this engine, and thanks for watching.